Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok, hello, goodbye. Maxime here. So for this video, I'll use three different render settings that people online have been telling me to use for the best results in Vegas Pro. Yes, I'm referring to all those best render settings for Vegas Pro videos. So let's compare them and see the results I got. The render settings I'll be using are Sony AVC with the highest bitrate, Magix AVC with regular settings, and Magix AVC NVIDIA encoder with regular settings. These were the three favorites that I could find on YouTube. Obviously, full HD and 60 FPS. I started with a small, roughly three seconds long clip of a player on my retake servers dying, which was taken with the NVIDIA Shadow Play feature. Then I started with the first render settings. The rendering time took about eight seconds. Next up, the Magix AVC. This one took about two seconds longer to finish. Finally, I used the Magix AVC NVIDIA encoder. This one was really fast compared to the other two and finished in roughly five seconds. Next up, I compared file size. First one landed at 7.66 megabytes, second one 8.04 megabytes, third at 8.07 megabytes. Considering the speed of the third render setting and the file size that it ended up with, that is great results. But how's the quality? In order for me to really show the quality difference, I had to take a single image of each video, preferably an image with lots of action. So here's the original, which hasn't been rendered at all. Let's zoom in a bit. This one should give me the highest quality. Now we get to the first render settings. Zoomed in, it doesn't look as sharp. The second render setting does however jump significantly in quality. Third setting doesn't really make a huge jump in quality, but some things changed. It's like it decided to focus on other details instead. And now we can go back to how it looked before it was rendered. One of the first things I look at when I watch a CSGO video is the crosshair. Notice how pixelated it becomes with the first render settings. The second render settings, however, pretty much saves it for me. And then we get to the third settings, which somehow doesn't change the crosshair itself, but more or less the things around it. And a bit of color change as well. Let me show you a second example really quickly. First setting took roughly 9 seconds. Second setting roughly 13 seconds, that's 4 seconds longer than the previous render setting. The third setting took roughly 4 seconds, which is less than half of the first one. Now file sizes again. First one 12.3 megabytes, second one 10.9 megabytes, and third one 11 megabytes. Once again, let's zoom in on a still image with action. First image is unrendered. Moving on, we get to the first render settings. Here's the second render settings, and here's the third. While it's harder for me to tell if I prefer the second or third render settings, it's clear to me that the first settings ain't really on the same level. I'll show you one more example. This clip is longer than the other two, and the first one took roughly 17 seconds. Second one took roughly 29 seconds. Third one took roughly 10 seconds. File sizes are 22.6 megabytes, 20 megabytes, and 20.3 megabytes. Here's the unrendered image. Next, we got the first setting, second setting, and third setting. This time you can clearly see that the third setting makes it harder to read the text compared to the second setting, but it really isn't that bad compared to the first setting. I made further tests behind the scenes, but these three examples gave pretty clear results. And I don't think I need to show you guys anymore. The sharpest render settings, at least when I tried it with CSGO using my video settings, is Magix AVC. The sharpest and fastest render settings under the same conditions is Magix AVC with NVIDIA Encoder, which does however require you to use an NVIDIA GPU. And the less sharp but faster render setting than number two is the Sony AVC. If you have an NVIDIA GPU that supports the NVIDIA Encoder feature, then I 100% recommend using these render settings. And that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video to show your support. Stay awesome and go bananas.